What will modern AI do to the games industry? By now you definitely should have heard about the foremarsh of machine learning. That's right, the machines are coming. They are becoming smarter and smarter and I think at this point it's pretty obvious that modern AIs will massively disrupt a lot of industries, including the games industry, pretty soon. So which impact will machine learning have on video game development? It's a super relevant question and honestly nobody knows for sure where all of this is headed. The best we can do at the moment is to make an educated guess. Before we do that however, let's all get to the same page, okay? What is machine learning and how do we know it's coming? First of all, machine learning has pretty much been around since the 1950s. A lot of different algorithms have been discovered since then, but by far the most common ones are neural networks. A neural network looks more or less like this. There is an input layer, a couple of hidden layers and an output layer. Each layer consists of multiple neurons and each neuron is connected to every single neuron in the next layer. Now when some of the input neurons fire, they activate certain neurons in the second layer, which in turn activates certain neurons in the next layer and so on. Of course it's a bit more complicated than that, because these connections are not all the same. They have different weights and in fact these weights are what allows the network to learn. Neurons aren't just on or off, but they can take all values from 0 to 1. These values then get multiplied with the connection weights, summed up. Then we take the sigmoid of that and that's the activation value for the next neuron, which is once again somewhere between 0 and 1. If you've never heard about all of this before, your current response should be something like that sounds complicated, I don't get it, and how the hell is this neural network thingy supposed to learn anything? It's very simple, they learn from data. What you need in order to teach a neural network like this is both the input data for the input nodes as well as the output data for the output nodes. If we have the values for both of that filled in, we can use the so-called black magic algorithm to adjust all of the connection weights accordingly. This will result in some of the connections becoming stronger and others becoming weaker. Nerds refer to this as the back propagation algorithm, but honestly they are just trying to hide the fact they are actually doing pure magic. Now, one dataset is obviously not enough to train our network. We need tons and tons of datasets in order to make this work properly. Otherwise, the neural network won't, quote unquote, understand the real causalities and will likely give wrong outputs as soon as confronted with new unknown inputs. So yeah, that's how these networks learn. You feed them with a lot of data and they try to adapt to the given data to always make the inputs match the correct outputs. But what if your inputs aren't numbers? These neurons only take numbers as inputs and they only give numbers as outputs, right? So what if your inputs are words or sounds? What about speech recognition for example? Or what if you want to teach an AI for a video game to decide between certain possible actions? Luckily, it's possible to turn almost everything into a number. Letters can just become the numbers from 1 to 24 for example. If we want to learn from sound files, we just use the individual samples and if we want an AI to decide between different options, we can use multiple output neurons for every option available and whichever has the highest activation value is the one the AI picks. It's truly a miracle that neural networks actually work. The question is, if these things have been around since the 1950s, why are they only now starting to take off? And there are three big reasons. The first one is the obvious one. Computers are getting better and better and we have more computational power than ever to run these algorithms. That means we can run bigger networks and we can run them faster. The second one is machine learning algorithms have improved as well. Researchers keep finding new ways to make these networks even smarter and more efficient. The third reason is, as I've said earlier, one thing that's definitely required to teach machine learning algorithms is data. Tons and tons of data. And guess what? Nowadays we have more data than ever before. Everybody is collecting data about everything, so we have plenty of fuel for our AI systems. On top of that, machine learning has become good enough to give companies a financial return on investment. It's capable of automating predictable tasks and can already make better predictions than a lot of humans in certain fields. Needless to say, that saves companies quite a lot of money, which is why they're willing to invest. And guess what? More investments most of the time means more improvements. Especially internet giants like Google and Facebook are interested in AI research at the moment. In fact, they're already using this technology to customize your newsfeed and to show your video suggestions whenever you enter their websites. 
Pretty much every other month you hear about another breakthrough in the field of machine learning. AlphaGo beats the world champion at Go. OpenAI beats professional esports players in 1v1 Dota matches. Deepfakes use machine learning to replace any face in any video with any other face you want. The Google Assistant calls a barber shop making an appointment for you. Robots teach themselves how to walk. An AI generates a voice that is almost indistinguishable from a real one. And so on. Machine learning is on the foremarch. Okay, but what's the big deal? What does that mean for the future of humanity? Obviously, I don't know, because I can't tell the future. It's very likely, however, that AI will keep improving to a point where they can outperform us in more and more tasks. Take driving, for example. Autonomous driving already works very reliably. Give it a couple more years and it'll be way safer than with any human driver. Machines are very likely to take more and more of our jobs, from flipping burger patties, to cleaning our houses, to diagnosing cancer, all the way to developing and designing new products for us to use. How far will all of this go? Where will it lead to? Where will it end? Is there a limit to how smart these AIs can become? Will they ever become smarter than humans? And if so, when will that happen? Do we need to be worried? Or will the AI revolution make our lives even better? Not unsurprisingly, experts pretty much disagree on all of these questions. Some insist on the fact that artificial intelligence is extremely dangerous and needs to be highly regulated. They're convinced machines will surpass human intelligence within the next two decades or so, and once that happens, there will be no stopping them. They would be able to improve themselves faster than with our undoing, and it wouldn't take long for these AIs to become almost godlike. This is often referred to as singularity, because it's almost impossible to predict how this world would look like. Others think AI is pretty harmless and there's no real danger it'll overtake us anytime soon. At this point it's just a neat little algorithm which can help us to automate predictable problems and it'll probably stay that way. Even if technology becomes better and better, AI will always be focused on a narrow set of tasks, so no match for our general intelligence. In my opinion there's quite a bit of wishful thinking involved. On both sides, some researchers and enthusiasts want the technology to succeed due to sensationalism and the hope for a better future, and the other side can't stand the thought of being surpassed by machines. And yes, it's a scary thought. What would our purpose be if machines were just better than us in every way imaginable? One thing people also really seem to disagree about is whether AI will ever be able to do creative work or not. Can it create art? On one hand, there's nothing to disagree about. AI can compose music, it can generate videos and it can paint images. Surprisingly well actually. This image of me was painted by an AI for example. On the other hand it depends on your definition of creativity and art. If you think a certain amount of self-awareness and consciousness is needed in order to call something art, sure, we're not there yet. And who knows if we'll ever get there. If the end result is indistinguishable from something a human created, what does it matter how we call it though? That finally brings us to games, doesn't it? Games consist pretty much entirely of creative work, from the code, to the story, to the sounds, to the music, to the graphics and the animations, all the way to the game mechanics. How much of that creative work will machines be able to do for us? Let's walk through this step by step. We're gonna start with the most realistic scenario. Let's start where we are right now. These are all things I'm pretty sure are already possible with the current state of technology. AI could learn to give you suggestions for games you should play. It can already cleverly adjust the prices of in-game purchases to increase the likelihood that you buy something. It can learn when the best timings for sending you push notifications are, as well as which push notifications to send you in order to make you open the game again. We could teach the AI to control certain game parameters like difficulty, rewards, levels in order to increase your playtime. We could use it for matchmaking in multiplayer games. An AI could learn which players need to be matched with or against each other in order to make for an interesting and close match. And another thing I'm pretty sure AI could already do is it could learn to automatically adjust the difficulty of the game in order to avoid frustration. By no means is that an exhaustive list, there are way more things we could do with this technology in game development, so if I missed something let me know. Okay, let's go one step further. I want to be very clear, we'll enter an area of speculation now, so don't take any of this too seriously yet. I just want you to be very aware of the opportunities this technology could potentially open up in the very near future, personalizing the store pages of games to be more appealing to you, 
personalizing some game parameters to fit your preferences. For example the difficulty, game speed, fire rate, enemy HP. It wouldn't create an entirely new game for you, but it would adapt the balancing to fit your liking. We could have better AI antagonists the player can play against. I mean yeah this is already possible, but at the moment it's too much work to train a neural network and there are more efficient ways to achieve the same result. In the future however it'll probably become easier and easier to train AIs. We could use AIs that learn your game for playtesting. We could use AI to do the balancing for our games, especially if we have other AIs that playtest the game. <laughs> it could help with content generation for the game. For example, it could learn to generate new quests, new levels, new items. It would basically be procedurally generated content plus players would never run out of content and the content would be way better than just procedural generation. Of course we could also just use it as a tool in development to create more assets, more levels. AI could do personalized marketing for your game, adjusting the pitch and the description, maybe even the trailer of the game. It could have a look at images you liked in the past and adjust the style of the game to that. We could have actually smart and interesting NPC companions you can actually cooperate and interact with. We could have pretty reliable voice input methods and in some cases it could even help to speed up the rendering pipeline. There are these things called neural renders. Pretty interesting stuff, look it up if you're interested. Now let's assume AI will keep improving drastically. This is highly speculative but let's just try to imagine what this technology could do to the games industry if it becomes way more intelligent. It could learn to render absolutely photorealistic graphics. You could have an AI tutorial, so basically an AI that explains you how the game works and gives you tips on what you should do and how you could improve. And the next one is a big one. We could generate a storyline that really adapts dynamically to your actions. Maybe even to your preferences. You could finally make a story based game where your decisions actually matter. Then you could interact and communicate with AI bots, they would answer to your chat comments and so on. That would give NPC characters even more depth. Imagine an RPG where you could ask any NPC any question and they give you a reasonable answer. Then if an online game doesn't have a large enough player base, you could just secretly throw some AI bots onto the ladder. <laughs> you could write an AI that comes up with custom in-app purchases for you. It could even come up with personalized skins and cosmetics you might like. Then AI could be able to generate infinite content for you that is just as good as handcrafted content by designers. Maybe it could even analyze your feelings via webcam and react to that. Horror games could learn how to scare you. Other games could learn how to bring you enjoyment and pleasure. And once again other games could learn how to give you an emotional roller coaster, how to make you laugh, how to make you cry. Maybe AI will even be able to generate entire games. At that point you just tell the AI what you want to play and it generates the game for you. Imagine that. I mean obviously all of that is highly speculative, keep that in mind, but imagine all of this would happen. How addicting would games like that be? And now combine that with VR. Goodbye real life. Beep beep. <laughs> if you want to see which astonishing things AI is already capable of doing, I collected the very best YouTube videos about machine learning. Just look through this playlist I put together for you and that will get you up to speed. Where do you think is all of this headed? Is artificial intelligence overhyped or will it have an absolutely massive impact on all of our lives? What else will we be able to do with modern AI in video games and what are you most excited for? This is Jonas, I document the entire journey to becoming a game developer. If that sounds interesting to you, leave us up. Now go check out the playlist I put together about AI and machine learning. It's super interesting and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!